Gut bacteria and depression. I'm Sarah Banto with Accelerated Health TV and Radio Show, and I wanted to touch on this new study that had just come out. Depression is common. It is a pandemic, the mental health disorder that affects millions of people, and so many are suffering and not even being diagnosed. What are the causes of depression? Still unclear, but we are seeing that the research is suggesting that there might be a link between depression and the gut microbiome. The gut microbiome, as we've talked about before, is a collection of microorganisms that live in your digestive tract that play a crucial role in overall health and well being. And I just talked about IBS. Well, gosh, if you're feeling yucky down there and you're having constipation or diarrhea you know that your mental health is suffering just having to deal with that let alone that there actually might be a problem with your gut microbiome what's new though is researchers from the u.s and japan say they have identified a particular intestinal immune cell that impacts the gut microbiome, which in turn may affect brain functions linked to stress-induced disorders such as depression. Targeting the changes mediated by these immune cells in the gut could potentially bring about new ways to treat depression, according to the team's finding in the Journal of Nature Immunology. One other study published in the Journal of Psychiatric Research found that people with depression actually had different gut microbiomes and healthy controls. And it's just kind of like the obese people who have a different microbiome than the skinny people and they're eating the same foods, but it's the way the pro body's processing. Well, specifically in the study, they had lower levels of certain bacteria that are thought to be beneficial for gut health and higher levels of bacteria associated with inflammation. Another study published in the journal Molecular Psychiatry found that when healthy participants were given a probiotic supplement containing several strains of beneficial bacteria, they showed reduction uh, or I'm sorry, reduced brain activity in areas associated with depression and anxiety. This suggests that the gut microbiome may play a regulating role that, uh, that, and that altering the gut microbiome could potentially be a treatment option for depression. So let's break this down. Immune system affects the gut. The gut's linked to the brain. The brain is affected by stress, which affects the gut, which affects the immune system, and they are all connected. So we have to approach all of this together, right? You've got the gut brain access. The gut brain access refers to the complex bi-directional communication system between the brain and the gut. And the gut communicates with the brain through various pathways, including the nervous system, the immune system, and the endocrine system. The endocrine system is your thyroid, your pineal gland, your pituitary, your gonad. So all of this, the adrenals. We talk a lot about all of these things. They are all interrelated. In recent years, research has started to explore the role of the gut microbiome in this communication system and how it is impacting health. Studies have found that the gut microbiome can influence the production of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, dopamine, and GABA. And the neurotransmitters play a crucial role in regulating mood and imbalances in their levels that have been linked to depression. There are nights when I'm laying in bed and I yell at my girls and I say, you get down here and give your mom a hug right now. I need a dopamine hit. And that physical touch, the embrace, that is a way to healthily include improve some of your your happy hormones like like dopamine and GABA and serotonin so those are the things that we want to look at so what do we do with all of this well number one you've got to look at what you're putting into your body and the stress you're under everybody's under extreme stress never before in human history has chronic stress been so high now easier said than done but if you take your perceived stress and the same level of stress from 10 years ago to today, the perceived stress of the same stressor is higher. 
So everyone is more agitated. Their adrenals are burned out, which means that they can't handle the stress as well. So we need to put in factors like gratitude, journaling, exercise, these things on a daily basis that lower our daily stress, lower our cortisol release, lower the acidity that happens in the body that affects the gut microbiome. There's also been an increase in sugar and carb consumption. And it's known that these hard, uh, high carb diet is linked to high blood sugar, and that leads to unstable mood. It also kills the gut microbiome. We've talked about that hormone called CCK in the gut, where it tells the brain that we've had enough to eat. That only comes from high wild animal protein, the amino acids there, and the omega-3 fatty acids. It doesn't come from the Pringles and the Ben and Jerry's. So we've got to cut out the sugar and the carbs. There's been a degradation of the food supply. So even the healthy foods we're eating are lower in nutrients. So not only are the processed foods, the vegetable oils and the GMOs leading to lower brain function, but they're also killing the gut and causing leaky gut and getting an imbalance of the good guys and the bad guys playing in the sandbox of the gut microbiome. The GMOs in the non-organic food supply disrupt the gut. They're causing most people to have issues detoxing their sulfur foods, which are the foods like broccoli and cauliflower, cabbage, onions, egg yolks, all of these healthy foods are now causing a disruption in the gut and causing maybe some of the gut pathogens to overtake the good bacteria in that gut microbiome. So some of the healthy foods are causing issues in the gut, not just the processed foods and the bad foods. And you also have the amyloid proteins. Now, amyloid proteins in conventionally raised meats like chicken, turkey, poultry, and beef are increasing that amyloid burden in the body, tripping up the gut, leading to autoimmune disease, brain fog, depression, a bad microbiome that is also causing those mood issues. And then those amyloids are misfolded proteins that are getting deposited in the body without being broken down into usable amino acids. So you're eating that chicken and turkey thinking it's going to your muscles and it's not because the liver's not able to break them down into those amino acids, into usable proteins. They're getting deposited in your, in your gut, in your kidneys, in your joints, in your brain, leading to Alzheimer's, dementia, um, and any brain issues, but then they're also causing a disruption in the gut, leading to leaky gut, leading to a malfunction in the production of GABA, serotonin, and dopamine, the happy hormones. But then you add in the low dopamine state of everybody be due to the free and easy access of all the addictive behaviors that we have, like gambling, porn, social media, alcohol, vaping, all of this is so accessible to our kids and to us, it is lowering our base level of dopamine. And then we're reaching for the wrong foods and we're doing all the wrong things. We're not exercising, we're not sleeping, we're not in gratitude, we're full of stress and anxiety that the social media is causing and it's disrupting the gut even more. And then that's leading to that lack of movement. Exercise is the only way, I shouldn't say only way, it is the best way to increase BDNF. BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor, and that is the number one way to improve mood and alleviate depression and increase mental performance. So all of those things are the free things that you should be doing, focusing on the right diet, focusing on wild animal protein as the base of your diet. And then you can add in intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting improves blood sugar control, low, lowers blood pressure, reduces inflammation, improves brain function, helps prevent dementia, helps re re reduce the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease, increases the cleanup of all the cells, include, increases the cleanup of the gut, heals the gut. The body says, okay, I'm not eating right now. 
I have time to go heal that, that leaky gut lining, the tight junctions in the gut. Then I'm going to be able to produce the GABA, the dopamine, the serotonin that leads to a healthier brain and alleviates depression. Adding with the intermittent fasting, you, you, you can use the Ascent Diet Cleanse supplements. They work together to reduce the inflammation in the gut and intestines, help heal the mucosal lining, and allow the rebalancing of the gut microbiome, improving all e IBS symptoms, mental health, mental mood, mental energy, and it includes the silver, the acceleridine. Iodine is the number one in, uh, supplement to improve depression and antidepressants are less effective mostly and most people and most people are low in iodine when they are put on antidepressants so first go for the acceleridine iodine 96 percent of the united states is deficient in iodine and when you add in the accelerated thyroid thyroid health is known to alleviate mental health issues. So it is the master endocrine gland, which affects the whole body. And then with the detox powder and the accelerated keto, you're cleaning out the whole system, including the liver, allowing the intermittent fasting to do its work and soaking up all the toxins, healing the gut, reducing the inflammation in the test intestines, and it helps improve the production of the happy hormones for your brain. You also can supplement with GABA, and that is something that I do. It helps boost the mood, mood calms the nervous system, helps with insomnia, maintains a healthy appetite, a lot of benefit from just supplementing with GABA. Throw in the Cognoblast, you will feel great mentally and physically, and everything starts to go in line, your immune system, your brain, and your gut. The benefits of Cognoblast, enhanced focus, improved mood, increased ATP, increased, increased memory, and reduction of anxiety and depression. Amazing. It also has been shown to help prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. So I just wanted to mention a few of those things. Of course, you want to add in the leaky gut bundle. If you do think you have a leaky gut, it has the three supplements, the Mega Spore, Mega Pre, and Mega Mucosa that are designed to have a brain down there, not overpopulate your gut with the wrong probiotics but the ones your gut actually needs. It has a brain to get down there and say, okay, I'm looking around. What do I need? I need a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and I don't need any of this. And then it has the food in the Mega Pre to feed the right biotics down there. And then it has the Mega Mucosta to heal the tight junctions in the lining. And if you're still having issues, the Mega IgG 2000 is kind of a, a nice gentle cleanup. It kills off and soaks up all the bad guys that are not supposed to be there and supports the healthy digestion, detoxification, and gut barrier um, function. So number one, exercise, clean up the diet, eat the right organic vegetables for your system, incorporate intermittent fasting, incorporate some of the supplements we talked about, gratitude journaling, prayer, manifestation, try to focus on the things that you can control. There's so many things in this world that we can't control. We need to focus on the things that we can. Thanks for joining me today. If this was helpful, leave a com comment below. Let me know what you are suffering from. Do you see a connection in your mental health and your gut? I want to hear from you and share this video with your friends and family who may need my help. You can find all of the supplements and the protocols at sarabantahealth.com. I am also happy to put together a personalized protocol for you. Just contact me through the website and join the free group coach on Telegram with the link below. I teach you on a daily basis with tips and tools to enhance your health. You will be a part of a like-minded group to support you on your journey. In addition to truly taking control of your health, remember the immune system is connected to your gut 
and it's it connected to your brain. So all three need to be taken care of. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and under Accelerated Health Products and across over 100 channels under Accelerated Health TV and radio show. If you like what you hear today, share with your friends. Thanks again and see you in the next podcast.